Hi there, Jason from Mr. Real Estate Rockhampton. Welcome to another info session. Uh, we're gonna talk about today the changing times of the investor. Uh, investors used to have it pretty easy. Now things have changed quite dramatically. Uh, I believe there's a bit of a chokehold on the credit crunch uh, and the Reserve Bank and um, the APRA um, have basically clamped down on uh, the, the credit of the investor type uh, buyer. And uh, to make matters worse, if we have a election next year and a certain party gets in, and uh, I'm not political in any way, but if they get in and take negative gearing off the floor, that's gonna change the whole uh, real estate market, uh, Queensland, Australia-wide, I believe. So um, let's talk about today quickly. Uh, people think that borrowing is reasonably easy. Just go out, buy another investment property, but that has really changed. So um, most companies out there need a lot of different things. Uh, basically, the Sydney and Melbourne market, I think there's, as we speak, it's December 18, and I think their sales are down by about, and I'm talking units, I'm talking amount of house sales, are down by some, you know, 30 or 35%. Uh, this has caused a chain reaction right across the country. Outlying areas in Queensland uh, also feeling it, the big banks are feeling it. Um, so that chokehold on credit has then siphoned down to the bank. So um, anyone out there that's looking at investing, go and have a talk to your bank manager. Things have changed dramatically. It started probably 2016, 17, 18 has been, uh, like it's, it's just changed. Um, the average person that thought they could just go out and buy an investment property, you've got to have, you know, everything in order, your taxes, um, like car sales across the country are down. Uh, there's lots of things. Um, construction, I think, is down as well by quite a margin. And construction makes up about 10% of the Australian economy. We're talking housing, mining. Uh, so there's a lot of different factors that come into it. But certainly at the moment in Rockhampton, uh, things are starting to turn. So uh, we're feeling that a lot of the Sydney, Melbourne investors that can't make a good yield... Uh, and they're probably making, I don't know, 4% at the moment, maybe five, four, five, I don't know. Uh, they are looking elsewhere, and this is called the ripple effect. So Melbourne, Sydney buyers know that the market down is going down a little bit, and they feel they've got to basically look elsewhere for the investments. So Rockhampton at the moment, uh, we've just had the Adani uh, project announced, which is a great thing for our area and certainly will help sellers probably move their properties a bit faster. Um, I think that prices will probably slowly escalate as more workers come to town and more people come to town, so that's something to keep an eye on. But uh, anyone out there that is investing, uh, our central Queensland region is looking quite prosperous compared to the bigger region. So uh, realistically, you know, a lot of our house prices start very, very, um, I guess they're probably bargain bargain boxes at the moment they're uh, you know we we sell them for 150 250 300 350 and uh, a lot of those cheaper properties are getting snapped up like you wouldn't believe so um, but investment is getting tougher uh, that chokehold on investment is happening our market is changing so if you're an investor uh, do your homework check out your bank your friendly banker and make sure you get all the information um, but I think we're going to be in for a, a different year in 2019. So, uh, look, I hope that's been useful information. Uh, if you are a um, seller, like, be careful. Uh, what You know, make sure you do all your homework. As a buyer, I think, uh, as well, check out from professionals. Uh, you've got to know the market. Get crystal clear information. You need transparency. You need to know what's happening and uh, that is where the economic experts come into it. So um, we see it firsthand on the ground at the coalface, but there's bigger powers than us that make a lot of these tough decisions. So um, guys, I hope that's been useful information. Uh, if you are an investor, uh, good luck with your investing uh, opportunities, but uh, I hope today's been 
something you can use moving into 2019. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate that. I appreciate you tuning in and uh, viewing another info session with uh, Mr. Real Estate Rockhampton. Hey, have a good day. Bye for now.